So, uh, got some, this is some other news that came out last night and I really wanted to talk about. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the announcement of a new TV series centered around a classic hero. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting a new Zorro TV series coming from directly from Disney. Now, um, it was announced last night. I didn't get to talk about it, mostly because um, I was just tired by that point. And when I found out the news, I was like, it was way too late. And I was like, ah, I just, I don't, I'll wait until tomorrow to talk about it. Kind of like with the Sadako news in the previous video. Um, but here we are now. We're going to talk about it. And what do I think of a Zorro, new Zorro TV series? Like, what do I, what do I think of a new Zorro TV series coming to, um, to Disney? Now, it is said that it is a new TV series, but even though I, uh, like, it is coming from Disney, we don't know if it's going to be on Disney Plus or it's going to be on ABC. Like, the, that's apparently one of the two places it's going to go. Let's be real. It's probably going to D to Disney Plus for a multitude of reasons. More people watch Disney Plus, and also Bo the CEO of Bob, the current uh, CEO of Disney, uh, Bob Chapek, is all about Disney Plus, and because the dude is a penny pincher who um, was all behind the Disney Vault idea um, when he was coming up um, in, throughout the ranks. Uh, there's a whole thing with Bob Chapek um, regarding Disney and how he's uh, he's kind of damaged the Disney brand in the short amount of time he's been around in uh, Disney. But that's a, that's a conversation for another time. We're here to talk about Zorro. Um, so not as so. I what do I think of this? I think it's really cool. I really do think that this is a really cool. Um, update. I love Zorro. I've absolutely, like, been waiting for a new Zorro thing. I remember, like, the last time anyone talked about Zorro in a, in, in any kind of regard was a movie that was gonna be, like, a Zorro film, but it was gonna be, like, a new person takes on the Zorro mantle, and it's a post-apocalyptic world. It came out the time right when, you know, Mad Max Fury Road was a big thing, and then nothing happened, so, yeah. If you guys don't remember, also, we are probably thinking, well, Disney's a weird pick for Zorro. Well, Zorro's technically a in-public domain character, but much like Kong and a few other in-public domain characters, I put in quotations, there are versions you can use, there are also rights people have. Disney has the TV rights to Zorro. Um, I, um, and they do have some rights to the character, as they do with John Carter as, and um, Tarzan. Kind of hard. And also, um, but there are also, like, rights that can go to... It's kind of like Tarzan and Kong, where they're called public domain, but really, it's kind of a, a legal minefield as to what you could and could not use for these characters. And I really hate that. Um, I really do hate that. Um, that there is, like, public... Uh, there is, like, a public domain for all of these well, not a public domain. It's public domain, but big companies still get to use them, and, and no one else can. Like, that that still annoys me. That's what I meant to say. But, anyway. Um, I like it. But, however, like I said, a Zorro TV series is really cool. Like, the idea of this classic character. Um, it's always fun to see the, the pulp characters get um, a lot of spotlight. I'm always happy to see, like, um, those type of characters get the limelight back and... Um, I forget the actor's name, but he is not only producing, but he's also starring. I think they said he, he did say he is going to play, um, Diego de la Vega, and, um, they are going to follow a lot of the original story, and that's the thing, like, they're not trying to change anything, and, um, they're going to say, yeah, this is a period piece, this is, um, in Los Angeles back when he was a territory in Mexico, and um, is kind of, like it's under the control of Spain. So the whole thing with California being a state—if you thought the legal issues with like the with each state becoming its own thing was was difficult—just think of like to it, to put it bluntly, there was a lot of legal shit dealing with the states that were connected to Mexico. Because so there was some really like state um, who owned what was the was it Mexico was it Spain. There was a lot going on there, so to set it up in what would be what was eventually going to become Los Angeles is really cool. It's not too far off from um, where we usually see um, 
where we see uh, Zorro, because Zorro's usually fighting either wealthy aristocrats who have taken over after the Spanish, or the Spanish themselves. Um, so, yeah. It's also kind of like, I hopefully this will, uh, I'm also kind of backwardsly, backwards hoping that, not, what am I, what the fuck am I saying? Backwards hoping. I really am hoping that one of the major things with this is that um, maybe this will open the door to other classic characters getting some limelight because I know they technically own the the syndication rights for Disney I mean owns the syndication rights to the Lone Ranger and Tonto so it'd be kind of fun to see like maybe Lone Ranger shows up in here um with and teaming up with Zorro that would not that would actually be a crossover I'd love to see and maybe we could get more um Maybe we could get other pulp characters, not from Disney, but like other studios. I've been waiting for ages for a new Shadow show. Come on. The Shadow. Come on. Warner Brothers. That's The Shadow is the perfect HBO Max TV show. Come on. Um, you want a cool a pulp character? That I. How hard is it not to do that? Sorry about that. I um, had to take care of something. But like I was saying, um, that's that's what bothers me is that like there's a lot of pulp characters out there that people can use, but no one's bothering to use them. Like I would love to see the Spider. If you if you're really curious, like what's a good pulp story from especially from Dynamite Comics, go check out the Spider by David Liss. It's amazing. It's amazing. And um, like I said, the Shadow. Um, Black Bat, the you know Green Hornet could use an, some new uh, could use a new show, or movie or something. Like yeah, you want to go into the well of characters that you could use. There you go. Yeah. But like, I, but yeah, the thing is, is that I'm wondering of like how like they have said that there is a lot of story with this with this. It, there's going to be a lot of story dealing with Zoro dealing with. Um, the the establishment. And that's what Zoro, like, a peop and what I find, like, really dumb is that people are like, oh, this is too woke for Zoro. I was like, that's the whole point of Zoro. That's, that's been his thing the whole time. He fights, he literally fights capitalism. That's kind of his whole deal. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he pretends to be, like, part of the elite, but, like, that's his whole thing. It's like, he fights capitalism. That's kind of what he does. That's, if there's no one, like, even if you didn't, like, read the old stories, or you had to have seen, like, the, the Ben Dennis movies. Come on, people. Holy shit. Um, anyway, I, I, like, um, I think it's really cool. Um, Zoro has been a character I think has been dormant a little too long. Like, when's the last time anyone's seen anything of Zoro of note? Oh, that movie back in the 2000s that was the, that was a really bad sequel to the really awesome 90s movie? Um, yeah. That, that, that's as far as I know. Like, there's been talks of other things, like I said, that post-apocalyptic Zoro idea. And the other thing that was of note, now that I think about it, was... The Zorro, uh, Django, and Chain crossover comic that was done by Tarantino and Matt Wagner, which is actually really good. Uh, Chris, uh, Mount Vernon kid sent it to me, and I really loved it. Um, I did a review on it a long time ago. Maybe I'll do a re-review of it if anyone's interested. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for a new Zorro com uh, for comic, a new Zorro TV show. I am pretty sure it's gonna probably it, it might be on HP on ABC. But it is more than likely going to be on Disney Plus. Like, let's just let's cut the bullshit. It is it is no doubt going to be on um, Disney Plus because that's where the hot shit is. Um, if it was on ABC, that's what I, that's what I know. Like, oh, then they don't have any faith in this. Um, yeah. Um. I'm yeah. I wonder now if they are going to do because Zoro hasn't been like a guy who's had a rogues gallery outside of the elite. So, I wonder if this new show is going to have, like, costume villains. But, yeah, Zoro's never had that, so maybe... Not not overdo it. Don't give him, like, a full rogues gallery, but maybe, like, someone else who, like, perverts the idea of Zoro um, and becomes, like, a villain for him. Not, like, give him a rogues gallery, but, like, someone like the the aristocrats who, oh, who like, rule over Mexico, 
maybe they get someone like a mercenary and dress him up or something of that nature. I don't know. Like me, just just if I know it's a world of superheroes and villains, we live in media, modern media these days. But it just don't go overboard is what I'm saying with Zorro. The whole point of Zorro is that he he's meant to fight the establishment for the little guy. Um, anyway. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of Zorro getting a, a new TV show? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Uh, just comment below, let me know. And once again, I am Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.